Live from my mother's basement, here's Johnny. Hooray! That's me. I'm Johnny. I'm in my mother's basement. Okay, so this is a very, very quick message. Um, I still got my Christmas lights up. I'm still in the holiday spirit, and that can only mean one thing. It's not yet New Year's, and there's still hope. What do I mean by this? I'm starting a new concept here on this channel. Um, this is something to do for every one of the groups that I belong to on Facebook. This is something new for me, uh, just to keep myself creatively minded. And this is something where I think that all the best shooters and the best minds in the YWC here can weigh in. And I think everybody should make video responses to this. It's a very good, good, good fucking idea. Although it's very lengthy, and I don't expect these videos to be half-assed. In fact, my own response to my own challenge here is probably going to be a couple of different videos long, because in this new thing that I want to do, it's called Book It Better. What I mean by that is we're going to take something that WWE has really let me down on in the past year and essentially we're going to take from now the Royal Rumble coming up in 2013 all the way through Survivor Series okay because these events haven't happened yet and so it's really up in the air what you want to do with it you are going to book the WWE Championship from the Royal Rumble all the way through Survivor Series. So you got to hit the big four pay per views and you got to hit every one of the ones in between. And if you want to include some of the setup plot stuff, devices on the, the Raw shows, any characters you're going to bring back to mix into the feuds, go ahead and explain that. But this is the challenge. If you want to do it from just now until WrestleMania, go ahead. But I think you're really missing out if you don't do it all the way out to Survivor Series because it really allows you to take it in your own creative direction and to do whatever you want to do. And it also tests, can you remedy not having the same four guys in the title scene all the time? And can you do something... That's not just like, oh, well, we're going to turn this guy heel, that's going to be amazing, and it's going to save the product. Can you actually book it better than what WWE would do? And how would you do it? Who would you do it with? What kind of matches are they? Who wins? Who goes over? Be a booker. We always say that, you know, I know people always praise the Schleg Daddy that he should book for WWE, and I know that people people around Mr. Parkin's dick about how he has a great mind for the business and you know I've done audios with Connor from the OK Fabe show and I've done challenges with James Morehouse uh, formerly known as the Black Rose 1991 or something um, and where we've you know booked back and forth this is for whoever wants to take part in it you don't have to be one of those guys you can just be yourself but make a video response it doesn't even have to have you in the video. Put pictures in it. Put a picture of Hulk Hogan. Say that he's coming back at WrestleMania. I don't care. You know, make it an audio file, but make it a video response so that I, I can at least hear you. You can have little visual diagrams. Put some fucking effort into this. And we'll see who, who actually does it the best here in the YWC. I think it's a great challenge. I think it's a great idea. I know that a lot of us have some time off now for the holidays where we can really think about this. Um, so mine is probably going to be three or four different videos just to cover that whole stretch of time from the Royal Rumble all the way up through November to Survivor Series. Um, but I think it's really going to be worth it. I think that it's going to be a real treat for you guys. I have been playing around in Microsoft Word now for a few hours trying to get ideas, and I've got from the Royal Rumble essentially all the way up through WrestleMania fleshed out, and it gives you some back subplots too, a lot of different things going around, a lot of different characters from WWE. Um, I kind of tuned out of WWE back around SummerSlam, back before Raw 1000. I watched 
the the thousandth episode of Raw. I didn't really watch again after that. I've caught bits and pieces, things on YouTube, little clips. People are telling me to go watch. I've I've been staying on top of the Rhodes Scholars. I I liked the Kane and Daniel Bryan thing, but as a whole, I've just I haven't watched it. I haven't cared to and. I think that this would be a good way to get my passion back sparked to give him another chance, or at least to think about what they could do and just flex my own creative kind of brain muscles. And maybe, just maybe, they'll take some of our ideas that we come up with and actually do some of this stuff to make it not the same guys always in the main event scene and whatever. So, take this opportunity, this challenge I'm throwing out to you guys. Book the WWE Championship. I don't want you to book Cena. I don't want you to book Punk. I don't want you to book Austin, The Rock, Undertaker. Book the championship itself. And if you're going to introduce a bunch of different guys, you know, like maybe you have Jericho come back, maybe Scott Steiner comes in, I, whatever the hell you guys want to do. Make it make sense. Don't just have it from out of nowhere. Like, tease it a little bit show how you would set up the shows, the pay-per-views, etc. What kind of matches they would be, who would go over, how they would go over. Have fun with this. And I wish everybody a happy holiday season and a happy new year. Be safe. Be healthy. I'm going to go to the TNA live show here just tomorrow with my best friend Dan from DanTalksWrestling.com. Look for my reaction to that show as well as his write-up of it. Um on his blog and here on this YouTube channel also. Um, we've got a lot of good ideas coming up. I think Dream Boy and myself and uh, we're going to analyze what went wrong with WWE in 2012 at some point. Uh, do another audio. I know everybody used to like them. We used to get a lot of freaking hits on it. Um, haven't done one for a long, long time. And I think that Dan and I are going to do an audio ourselves that compare the experience between the independent house show that was House of Hardcore that was in Poughkeepsie, New York, Tommy Dreamer's little thing he's got going there, um, the TNA live show that we're going to, and the WWE show that I went to uh, earlier in the year in Hartford, Connecticut as well. So, lots of things coming up on this channel. Stay tuned. I hope that you guys, you know, enjoy the next few videos to come. Please leave comments, please leave video responses, it's one of the best things to do is to log in and know that people are actually not just watching your stuff, but they want to participate in the discussion with you. Again, this is a live from my mother's basement production, this is Johnny signing out.